Good morning. This is the Quadtech RGS4 register control system used for closed loop color to color register. Let's take a look at some of the components that make this system up. First and foremost is the main electronics enclosure, which houses the majority of the processing electronics. Taking a look on the inside, we've got the interconnect board which is basically a connection point for all the scanner cables, communication cables. The card cage in the middle of the box, which has two CPU cards, the Turbo Dulce CPU and the 2001 CPU. The power supply that's used to power both of those components, this, the interconnect board and the card cage. On the right hand side we have the bike core power supply which is used to power the halogen bulbs on the line scanners. We have our incoming power connections down below and our system on and off switches. The other components that make this product up are the main upper and lower keyboards power supply for the keyboard, the proximity wheel and sensor that gets mounted on the line shaft. It may be necessary to change the diameter of this to match whatever the diameter is of your line shaft. Two CCD line scan cameras, one for each surface of the web. A remote scanner control keyboard that's used to position the scanners laterally across the web to line them up wherever the marks are being printed, for the register marks that the RGS4 uses. You can see we can move these scanners. Moving on, we have the output controller. The output controller is connected in parallel to your press register motors. Here on this particular press, we're going to have four units, one card per unit, and then also another card on the top, which is used for the 13 side phaser motors on a four high press. If an operator wants to make a manual move, they can simply select the unit that they want to move. So in this case, let's make a move on units one, three, four, the upper surface. Let's make a rather large move, 25 thousandths of an inch move. And we're going to make it to the operator side. As soon as I push this key, you will see now that we have units one, three and four illuminated making those associated moves. So if we were tied into the press, those register motors would be moving. If we're going to make a move on a phaser or on an SSC as we say the 13 side, let's make a move on units three and four and let's do a hundred thousandths of an inch move which is very large and we're going to do it in the advanced direction. Here you can see our phasers are lit up. We're making two moves on a phaser. And then we also have some lights lit up on the lower side, units three and four. It's making a counter active circumferential move to negate the phaser move on the 10 side. So this is pretty much an overview of the Quadtech Register Control System, RGS4. The customer will also receive manuals, both operator reference manuals, plate room packages, which will give them the marks that they will need to put on their plates, as well as the information on how to do that. If you should have any other questions about this system, please send us an email at sales at discover-graphics.com. Thank you.